I rise today to let the Charleston County Sanctuary Sheriff in South Carolina know that she can run, but she cannot hide. In recent weeks, I've had sources and a whistleblower come forward about the damaging policies of Charleston County's Sanctuary Sheriff, letting off illegal aliens, criminal illegal aliens, onto the streets of Charleston County, South Carolina. She can say that the Charleston County Jail doesn't reside in my district, but when she lets out an illegal alien who's committing crimes against residents of South Carolina, she doesn't get that excuse. She can blame the release of illegal aliens on her department policies all she wants, but what she will not tell you is that she literally drafted and signed off on her own department policies for which she's blaming the reason why she's allowed over 50 criminal illegal aliens out onto the street of South Carolina. She can call me a liar all she wants, but anyone who knows me knows that in Congress or in an oversight committee hearing or any hearing, quite frankly, I bring the receipts, including a receipt from ICE showing she has let off over 50 criminal illegal aliens out onto the street of South Carolina, most recently as August 23rd, when she allowed a criminal illegal alien who is an alleged pedophile who tried to solicit a minor back out onto the streets. And she blamed that release because she said her department policy is that a judge has to uh, keep him detained. Well, by the way, Sanctuary Sheriff Kristen Graziano, it's your own policies that you wrote and you signed your name to that, that uh, you're blaming it on. Um, and so when we're up here in Congress, I demand truth, I demand honesty, and I demand integrity. So too do the residents of South Carolina. They deserve to be put first. They deserve to be safe in their homes, safe on the streets, and safe in their communities. Un